Hello all, my name is Krishna and welcome to my vlogging channel. So guys, we are into the episode 3 of AI Tech News and in this video we are going to see the recent development and amazing innovation in the field of AI. If you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to the channel, press the bell notification icon so that whenever I upload any kind of videos, you will get the notification first. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead. So here, the first article that made into the headlines is that new AI system can read your mind and thoughts and convert them into sentences. Now here I've just created a small diagram to make you understand how the ML model was actually made. So here initially they took some people, they told them to start reading some sentences. Then this signal reading electrodes captured the neural activity. Then they created an algorithm which decodes those neural activity. This in turn converts into a string of digits. So like this, you will be able to see string of digits. And then that in turn is actually converted to words. So in this case, I've just given an example, I'm going to the city. So this is how generic this particular model works, right? Again, this is just a prototype kind of working model. Just by reading the sentences, I've come up with this prototype. It may not be exactly similar. Now coming to the steps. So initially the researcher had four participants read aloud a set of 50 sentences while connected to the brain signal reading electrode and tracked and recorded the neural activity in the individuals when doing this. The algorithms then broke down or decoded the information into a string of numbers which would represent specific word and help future algorithm understand the order of the word that occur in grammatically correct sentences. So this was how the overall working is. Now you can just understand if you are having the knowledge of machine learning and deep learning which all algorithms may have probably been used. Okay. Now this was an amazing thing. Now how accurate is the model? That is also a very good thing that we need to understand. The end result was a mere 3% error percentage for an individual among the participants, which even defeats the 5% error margin that professional human trans translators and transcribers exhibit. So this has really, really, really give a very good result in terms of accuracy. This is much better than the human translator and transcribers exhibit that we have. So yes, an amazing invention altogether. Now, which company or university developed it? So this project was undertaken by Professor Dr. Joseph Mackin and his team from the University of California, San Francisco. So this was an amazing innovation that actually made into the headline. Coming to the second article, guys, the scientists discover powerful new antibiotic using artificial intelligence algorithm. Now here, the U US researcher uses, used an artificial intelligence algorithm to identify powerful new antibiotics compounds which could kill many of the most problematic disease causing bacterial lab test. Okay. So how the ML model was actually made? They again, the ML model was made on somewhere around, they had the data set of 2,500 molecules, including 1,700 FDA approved drugs and a set of 800 natural products with diverse structure and wide range of bioactivities. The algorithm was tested on the library of somewhere around 6,000 compounds. Finally, helping identify a molecule that was predicted to have a strong antibacterial activity and had a chemical structure different from any existing antibiotics. Again, guys, I'm not an expert in healthcare domain, right, or in medical domain, but you can definitely understand that AI is really making some amazing innovations. The most important thing when creating this kind of model is domain expertise, right? So here you can see that how they got all this particular information. Just for a common man, it is very, very difficult. Yes. Which company or university developed this? This was developed by Berzelia and Collins, who are faculty co-leads from MIT's uh, Abdul Latif Jamil Clinic for Machine Learning in Health, are the senior authors of the study which appears today in Cell. The first author of the paper is Jonathan Stokes, a postdoc at MIT and a broad institute of MIT and Harvard. So MIT and Harvard are definitely doing a whole lot of work in this area. And again, it's all research, guys. It's all research. Coming to the third article, AI app identifies rare genetic disorders from photos of patient faces. Now just see this. This is an amazing innovation. And this really had to make the headline, guys. This whole app was name is nothing but face to gene and it was developed by FDNA and they will be definitely doing a whole lot of research. They are doing a whole lot of research in case of the healthcare domain itself, right? So just by seeing the pic of the picture uh, of the picture of the image, they are actually going to decide or uh, what is the rare genetic disorders that the patient may suffer from. Okay. So how the ML model is made? This algorithm is designed by Boston based startup FDNA and can diagnose 
certain diseases based on people face it uses deep learning and computer vision to identify facial patterns in facial photos of uh, patients and identify which of the multiple possible genetic mutation could be behind a person conditions so here you can see that just an example of computer vision you know how they can actually scan the images and properly see it what all problems that the patient may have right so how accurate is the model right now the uh, model has achieved 64 percent accuracy substantially higher than the 20 percent accepted so before just imagine 44 percent now they are able to achieve 64 percent now i think they will be able to move uh, you know research more on this and probably bring a very good accuracy itself nature med medicine is monthly peer reviewed medical journals publishing research articles reviews news and commentaries in biomedical areas including both basic research and early phase clinics so uh, this is also one part of this particular invention and here you can see that it is an amazing app itself developed by fdna and definitely this will help many many people as we go ahead so yes uh, this was all about from my side in my next uh, AI Tech News, I'm going to discuss about uh, Neuralink and GPT-3, which I think many people are actually waiting. I'm going to create a detailed video on that. So guys, don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.